Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about the interface. So interface is just like a class but in which all the declaration of functions is allowed. We cannot define the functions. The next condition is that all the functions declared in the interface must be defined in the child class like we have done in the abstract class. And the interface is a pure abstract class. That means all the functions in interface are abstract. Now this is the major difference from the abstract class that in abstract class you can have normal member variables and methods but in interface all the functions are abstract means they can only have declaration but no body. And we have to use the keyword interface while defining it. And one more thing is that in the child class which implements the functions, you have to use the implements keyword to implement this interfaces. Now let us see the syntax here. So the syntax is as I have told you, it will start with the keyword interface, then interface name, whatever you want to give. And within the body of this interface, you can have n number of abstract functions which are by default public by scope. Means you cannot have here protected or a private scope of the methods. By default, they all should be public. Otherwise, the child class cannot implement these functions. So in this way, you can have n number of functions as depicted in the syntax. Now let us go to our notepad plus plus to see one particular example. So I'll start my PHP script and uh, here first I'm going to define the interface. Now for our tutorial, I'm going to create one interface board and I'm just going to implement the function my voice in different classes so here ends the definition of my interface now note here this my voice i have only put up here declaration but the body is not there so the body of this particular function will be implemented in the child classes so based on this particular interface, I am going to define various classes. So let us say first I am going to declare one class called as Kakpu. This is a common bird that we find. So here remember as I have already discussed, we have to use the keyword here implements implements interface name and then i will start the body of this particular class so within this particular class now i have to declare the body of this particular abstract function my voice so here i am just going to display a simple message that uh, the bird which we have just used usually just say the word cuckoo isn't it it screams it so we'll just put it under the my voice and i will close this method and i will close this class so this is the way you can implement this abstract function my voice in the child class cuckoo and here you are going to write the body of this function my voice. Now next I am going to create one more class duck. Again it is going to implement bird class. And now this time again I am going to write the body of this abstract function my voice and you know that the voice of duck is quack quack so i'll close this duck class here 
now next i am going to create objects of this classes so here i'll declare first object bird one of class i'll declare one more variable bird two now this time of class duck and uh, I'm going to create one array of these birds. I have taken here two birds. You, in this way, you can create n number of bird classes. So I'll just pass it on this two birds object variable. And then just I'm going to tell these birds to make the sounds. So I'll just use the for each loop and within it dollar birds as dollar bird and I'm going to just call the my voice method of this two variables. I'll close this and I'll close the script now. I'm going to now save this file as uh, interface.php. I'll go to my web browser and I'm going to run this file. So see here, the voice of cuckoo and duck has been displayed. So in this way, you can declare the interface and you can implement it by different subclasses by writing the methods so in this way the interface is implemented